Okay, okay, okay. Who can tell me the year that the Declaration of Independence was signed? Okay, how about, okay, who can tell me the name without looking of our first president? Anyone? It's George Washington, you half-witted Nixons. Yes, that's correct. Thank you. And the year? 1776. That's the year that we signed the Declaration of Independence. I'm sorry. Sometimes it's hard for me to keep my composure when faced with the reality that all the students in this classroom are the future of our country. It breaks my heart, but I can fix it. My name is Frank Underwood, and these are my hallways. Vice President of the beautiful Monroe Washington Middle School in Gaffney, South Carolina. I have poured my life into making this school the best it can be while making friends on the inside. It's all been taken care of, sir. Thank you, Meacham. Well, also using my adorable innocence to, well, charm the school's teachers and faculty. Well, hello there, Francis. And how are you doing today, young man? I'm doing well, Miss Augustine. Oh, splendid. Then I'll see you in fifth period. And if you vote for me as your next student president, every day will feel like ice cream day. Susan spilled her chocolate milk all over me, so I had to change my clothes. You look fine, sweetheart. Can you change your grade for me? I'll see what I can do. Claire? You see, presidency is a lot like moving around the Monopoly board. You have to roll the dice just right to land on the boardwalk. And if you land on the boardwalk, you win the game, and you win the game, the game is a metaphor for a presidency. I'm sorry, I'm not very good at using it. Good thing I keep my dice loaded. Meet you. This is the student body council room during lunch. This is crap! Somebody spilled Sunny Delight all over my campaign posters. They're completely ruined! Calm down, Peter. It's okay. No! No, it's not okay. I spent three weeks on these. Somebody sabotaged my campaign. I mean, maybe it's not such a bad thing. I mean, though he's a nice kid, He's only third grade writing level, and those posters were not gonna help his image. He'd make a nice politician, very social. He just needs a nudge in the right direction. Peter, candidate Russo. Please, do not worry. Whoever did this will surely be brought to justice. Yeah, but they ruined help. Peter. Please, we can fix this. 
I'll get my team to help remake your signs. Of course. Now the election for treasurer isn't for another four weeks. It'll be done by then. And in the meantime, work with my team on a new slogan. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. Thank you, I won't forget this. Thank you. Oh, what? Are you gonna judge me for helping a boy in need? Look, these signs were gonna get him nowhere. I'm just giving him a helping hand. It's not like I'm pushing him in front of a train or anything. It's all in the power trade. Plus, it it also helps to have a friend in the treasury. Attention, class. Dad. Attention, class. Hey! Attention, class. Before we do the Pledge of Allegiance, please welcome our new student, Garrett Walker. <laughs> Garrett was school president in fourth, fifth, and sixth grade. And he comes all the way from our nation's capital, Washington, D.C. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. it's so gosh. Cool. That's amazing. Did you ever go to the White House? Did you ever play basketball with Obama? Did you ever meet Joe Biden? Oh, oh my, my God. Who God. Cares? No one cares. Cares. Okay, quiet, quiet down. Garrett, would you do us the honor and lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? Miss Augustine, I would be humbled to. Oh. Games are fun without a little bit of a challenge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America.